It's getting close to six months since I started my new role and the time has flown by just like that. I graduated from the bootcamp in March 2022 and I can't lie, it was revolutionary. The bootcamp taught me so much both technically and about myself. I had to learn how to apply self-discipline, like really apply self-discipline and show a lot of grit. And then after learning so much, it was then time to go out into the wild and start to apply for jobs. It's kind of funny and ironic because when I was going into the coding bootcamp, I was completely outside of my comfort zone. But when it came to the end of the bootcamp, my comfort zone had now expanded to include the coding bootcamp and now I was facing the unknown again. It just goes to show that life is a series of leaving or rather expanding your comfort zone. Anyway, I applied to a lot of jobs, nearly 200 off the top of my head and I failed interviews miserably. Admittedly, I had heavily depended on my personality to get me through interviews, but I quickly learned the hard way that that just wasn't gonna work with a career switch. And because I was competing with people who were younger than me and who held relevant degrees, I had to prepare a lot and work on different things. A lot of people in my bootcamp cohort got jobs a lot quicker than I did. I thought that I was as good as them, but I had to make sure that I didn't go into a rut. I had to stop pocket watching and it forced me to reflect on how I could make myself be a better applicant. But after many ups and downs and even more applications, I was able to secure a role after four months of applications. The job I thought I was the least likely to get out of of all the jobs that I applied. Just as a side note, I'm sure some of you watching have gone through a coding bootcamp, graduated and still not found a role. I was recently speaking to a couple of grads from my cohort who had recently started their jobs in January of 2023 nearly a year after they graduated. There is a seat for you on this table. There is room for you in this industry. There's just a door waiting for you to knock it. And all you have to do is find that door. My first two weeks were pretty slow. I was inundated with onboarding, compliance, you know, the usual boring stuff. And then I started pairing with some of the engineers on some of their tasks. I felt like a thief that had come in through the back door in the middle of the night. I didn't know any of the technologies that they were using, nor did I know any of the terminologies that were flying around during stand-up. And I knew this is what a lot of juniors felt when they first went into roles, so I just kept telling myself that this is normal, this is normal, and I kept pushing through. That was until my teammate asked me and another junior who wanted to help out with another project that another team needs helping out with ASAP. And I immediately put my neck out. What could go wrong, right? My team lead kept reassuring me that I'd be fine and that I could obviously ask him for help anytime I needed and he scheduled a meeting for all of us. I knew I was in trouble when there was a scene engineering manager, two team leads, and a product manager within that call. Before I carry on, I come from a JavaScript background and JavaScript is an interpreted language and doesn't need to compile. Also, I've never used Visual Studio before, I've just used Visual Studio code. Now I've set the scene. After the meeting, my manager leaves me with the simple task of opening the repo in Visual Studio, mind you, making sure that the code compiles and that the tests pass locally. That's it. And he made it very clear that I could contact him at any point if I got stuck at all, no matter how silly the question was. So I'm like, what could be so difficult about opening a repo and doing some tests locally? I don't need any help with that. So I'm on Visual Studio opening this folder, you know, the way I would with JavaScript. And I open the file that contains the code. This is C-sharp, by the way, and it just doesn't compile. I try over and over again, and it's just not working. And I'm far too embarrassed to ask for help now. All I've been asked to do is to open up the code and run the code. That's all I've been asked to do. I was given this task at like 11 a.m. and I hate to admit it, but I was working on it until late in the evening. I tried Googling for ages and it seems like my question was so simple that not even Google could give me an answer. At one point, I was walking through the living room and I was just saying to myself, Damn, I must be missing something. Let me Google it this way. Let me try this. The next morning, I went into the stand-up defeated. I couldn't believe that I struggled with opening a file and running the code. I felt like an imposter and I was getting intrusive thoughts like, damn, am I even right for this job? What am I doing wrong? Naturally, those thoughts were really silly because they knew what my coding abilities were before I joined and that I had no experience with C-sharp. Turns out you need to open the solution file. Like, how was I meant to know that? How was I supposed to know? I was a victim of someone with the curse of knowledge and they probably just assumed I knew how to open up a solution file. And that's not their fault either. It's mine because I was too embarrassed to ask for help. But all things considered, I was really happy that I stuck my neck out when I did because I ended up learning a lot in such a short amount of time. Stories aside, I spent time absorbing, learning new technologies and picking up tasks wherever I can. 
When I initially joined, I was under the impression that I would be doing a lot more coding, but that just isn't the case. My first few weeks were about getting my feet wet, understanding the domain that I'm working in, and also understanding how the wider business works. There are a lot of meetings and plannings, and there's a lot of picking up and learning new technologies that I didn't even know existed. I worked for a startup. There are a lot of moving parts and things are moving really quickly. But from here on out, it's all about learning as much as I can, which includes taking some of my Microsoft exams, and trying to gain as much confidence as I can. And that's where I'm at since graduating from the coding book. A lot of you are probably wondering whether I've got the imposter syndrome. I do. A senior engineering manager told me that he didn't feel confident calling himself an engineer until he had three years of experience. Oh, you're wondering how I'm dealing with it? You gotta check out this video to find out. That's all I've got for you guys today. This is Mohammed, and I'll see you guys in the next one, inshallah.